If you invest $500 with an interest rate of R compounded annually for two years, the amount you have in the account after two years is represented by this function. We don't know the, uh, the rate on this one, but we don't have to know the rate because it just wants us to simplify this expression by distribution, just multiplying 1 plus R by itself. So, really, we've got 500 and then 1 plus R times 1 plus R. Sorry, my lowercase r's look like not r's. Uh, but when we distribute this, and this would be in parentheses as well, we'd have 1 and then plus 1 R and then plus this 1 R and then plus R squared. And we still got the 500. So 500 times 1 plus 2R plus R squared. And now, well, I'll make that black. Now I can distribute the 500 into this. So that's going to give me something a little bit different. I've got 500 plus 5 times 2 is 1,000. R plus 500 times R squared would just give us 500 R squared. And this is the amount A. There you go. If we wanted this in descending order, we'd just put this R squared in the front and move the 500 in the back using the commutative property of addition.